Get a kiss. I am Bishundi. Uh, of course, as the Evenki say, or perhaps as the Mongolians would say, Nadzuld means send that scan all. And of course, in English, uh, my friends, uh, hello, I hope you all are well. It's been a little while since our last video, and, uh, you know, I've, I've been a little bit busy, but I would like in this video to introduce a very good Mongolian friend, probably the, my best Mongolian friend so far, and here she is. Yes, 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 this is, this is uh, Bodong, the dog, and uh, she is a very, very sweet puppy that I've recently taken in. Maybe you can get a good look at her here. She's a very, very sweet girl. And um, right now we're just playing rope a little bit. She is a rescue off of the streets here in Ulaanbaatar. You know, straight and abandoned dogs here in UB, they're a big problem. So um, there's this wonderful organization called One Dog at a Time. And I got in contact with them because I saw all these poor dogs with no one to love them. So I decided that I would do my part. The only problem is that I cannot keep her forever. Uh, my life is only that of the wandering English teacher. And uh, she needs a family with a stable home. Maybe even some uh, kids to be her brothers and sisters. And uh, I hope that in putting up this video, I'm even going to tag all of my uh, Mongolian friends on Facebook. I can get the information out that somewhere, somewhere, maybe someone who has a, a, a love in their heart for dogs, maybe they can open their heart and their home to this girl too. So, um, everyone, I, I would like one more time to introduce this good friend of mine. Her name is Bodong. Now, what does this mean? This is the Mongolian word for a boar, a wild boar. Because she has this sound that she makes when she's happy and it sounds like a pig. She sounds like a pig. So I decided that I would name her Bodong because that's a little bit more badass than uh, just calling her Gaha or pig. So, uh, when she was at the foster home before me, they called her Teddy, but, you know, since that's actually a boy's name, I didn't think it would be very appropriate. I was also thinking about giving her a cat name and teaching her cat commands, but then I realized that, unfortunately, whoever adopts her in the end probably won't be a cat speaker. So I suppose we had to settle for a Mongolian name, and I'm even teaching her Mongolian commands, such as Su for sit and ir for come. Um, but at any rate, here is my new friend, and I hope that together we can find a nice, loving home for her. So, um, everybody, uh, take care. As far as Evenki is concerned, I have not forgot about it, and hopefully I will be able to put up another video later this week, maybe even tomorrow if I remember to bring my computer into work. But until then, everyone, please take care and uh, take care of yourselves. As the Mongolians would say, have a good rest. So here's my dog. I just want to take a good look at her one more time. She's very, very energetic, gentle puppy right now. She's a very good girl. She's only actually... Um, 12 weeks old right now, so she's she's still just a baby, but for a baby she's she's very clever, very sweet. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting carried away again. Everybody, uh, take care, and I will oh, I will see you later.